बर्फ पड़ रही है बर्फ बर्फ पड़ रही है Hi guys, I'm just gonna take you through a few pointers as to how to set up a campsite, especially at a high altitude area like in Ladakh. The first thing you want to look out for is a is a nice ideal site where you've got enough uh, flat area to set up your camp. Uh, you want to look out for a nice fresh uh, water source. So the next thing to look out for is your wind patterns, which do change from uh, day to night. So you want to strategically position your camp in a way so that uh, you don't get too much wind coming right into your tents or your tents don't blow off and the last thing of all is you want to see uh, what what sort of surroundings you are in you could be in a forest area you could be somewhere close to a village if you're close to a village you want to be respectful to the local villagers and make sure you're not camping on somebody's private land in case you are it's always better to go and approach them beforehand and maybe pay a nominal fee to rent out the location and if it's a forest area you want to also be respectful to the forest guard and maybe take that their permission prior to camping and the most important thing to remember would be to be respectful to the environment around you the people around you and to leave nothing but your footprint behind so today we are going to talk about all our kitchen essentials the things that we need for our overlanding trip first of all try and invest in a shelter because all these places are really windy it's very hard to cook like without a shelter coming to fuel usually you know a lot of people would suggest get propane it's light weight and all but since we are like a group of 8 we need a truck load of these cylinders just to do like you know basic cooking for ourselves so what we've gone with is a normal lpg cylinder you start you get these smaller ones these are the 8.5 kg ones we've got two burners uh nice big burners because cooking nearly takes 3 3 times like more time than you're cooking at a lower altitude second just choose what utensils you need you definitely need one or two very nice pressure cookers because things just won't get cooked without that make sure you have enough uh jerry cans and other things to carry your water in because you don't get water that easily then uh have a prep table ready if you can so that like you know all your prep can happen have your chopping boards knives have enough of these plastic boxes so that you can seal your food stuff in that 
we've got drawers installed in the back of our pickups which can arrange your food like nicely you'll have to plan your menu in advance so that you can pack and you should know because at places you don't get anything coming to washing which is quite a pain here it's so cold really cold water we have gone with the normal prill liquid which works wonderful with hot water and some scotch brights we separated all our uh, biodegradable wet waste in one and all our plastics and all the tin cans in the other we try carry it find a dumpster dump it there all the non biodegradable stuff the biodegradable stuff just put it in the corner and like you know the animals can eat it or something like that uh, that's about it like you know and you just need to work as a team and get everything going Beep, beep, beep. 